Welcome to Streets of the U.S. Today, I will be in Bridgeport, Connecticut, and I will be discussing some of the gangs that operate in the city. The city of Bridgeport is the fifth most populated city in the New England area. In 2020, outside a Bridgeport courthouse, just past noon, four people were shot sitting inside a car. The shooters had driven up in another vehicle and opened fire. Later that same day, three of the shooters were arrested. Investigators found out that that particular shooting was in retaliation for a murder that occurred days prior at the Green housing complex. A 21-year-old man was shot in the chest and leg, and an 18-year-old man was wounded and died from his injuries. One of the shooters involved was named Asante Gaines, and he was sentenced to 15 years in prison for the shooting outside of the courthouse. Asante was a member of the Green Homeboys, which was a gang based in the Charles F. Green Homes housing complex. The Green Homeboys, also known as GHB, had an alliance with the original North End gang. Asante was the one who coordinated the attacks outside of the courthouse. One of his co-defendants stated that he wanted recognition for the public shootings. Law enforcement investigation led to an indictment of eight people involved in the courthouse shootings. The original North End Gang and the Green Homes boys aligned themselves to fight the East End Gang, the P.T. Barnum Gang, and the 150 Gang. A criminal indictment alleged that the GHB Gang sold crack, heroin, Percocet pills, and marijuana. The GHB gang was also known to intimidate witnesses. A GHB member named Kirkland shot and killed a member of the 150 gang in May of 2015. In 2018, two members of the GHB named Bajeen and Blackwell shot and killed a member of the East End gang in February of 2018. In October of 2018, Bajin and Kirkland got together this time and shot another member of the East End Gang. In January of 2020, four members of GHB shot another member of the East End Gang. In 2023, a member of the East End Gang named Tyrone Moore was sentenced to 20 years in prison. He was involved in the murder of Sean Warren in 2019. Law enforcement believes that the East End Gang is responsible for six murders in the Bridgeport area. In 2023, Stefan Sanderson of Covington, Georgia was sentenced to 92 months in prison for trafficking guns into Connecticut from 2017 until his arrest. Stefan got 25 firearms in Alabama and Georgia. He distributed them to the North End Gang and the Green Homes Boys. Some of these weapons contain switches, which converted them into fully automatic machine guns. In 2018, a weapon supplied by Stefan was used by Kirkland. Kirkland shot at a rifle 32 times near the Green Homes housing complex. His target only suffered minor injuries. A lot of his shots missed, and some of his shots traveled into a nearby home. A man in his kitchen was shot in the back. In May of 2022, another one of the traffic weapons was linked to two separate shootings and one murder. Kirkland admitted to multiple shootings and pled guilty to conspiracy to engage in racketeering. He was sentenced to 210 months in prison. If you like this story, please like, subscribe, and comment on the channel. Thank you.